What is going on everybody? This is the Crypto Q YouTube channel and today we are going to kind of be doing our weekly recap uh, among other things kind of recapping what's been going on where I've been uh, for those that don't know I've been primarily focused on kind of taking a break but also focusing on getting my taxes fully caught up. I finally paid uh, paid the IRS everything I needed to pay so I'm done there caught up. Uh, if I get some time I will try to make a video regarding that. I do know it is coming too close to the deadline, or at least the traditional deadline, given no extensions. But we're looking uh, pretty good on the Bitcoin chart, uh, so that is exciting. Uh, other things I want to say is I have pretty much been focused on just kind of taking a break. I haven't been looking at the charts for the past couple of weeks, really. I mean, uh, you could probably see that I haven't been posting videos. I've been really just relaxing, uh, trying to fix and work on some other things get my diet a bit better uh, and take a break from the charts. I mean, nothing crazy had been happening. I have automated purchases that happen uh, all throughout the weeks. So I'm not really overly concerned. I have my purchases I'm going to be doing. Those are not going to be stopping anytime soon. But we can see we finally closed above the yearly open. I'd actually started recording this about an hour ago and then remembered that we had this time shift for whatever daylight saving time it is. And it now delayed the daily close, weekly close, another hour. So jumping back in. But we can see we closed above this yearly open. I have been very transparent in the fact that I was going to maintain my views that uh, we were going to crab along until we closed above or below one of these two ranges. Right? And that was yearly open. And uh, honestly, I was really eyeing this 34K as a bottom, which turned out so far to pretty much be the bottom. We didn't. We tapped it uh, pretty much twice. We actually went below it once. Didn't close below it, so that's a good thing. Uh, we never even tapped around that 28K or that 2021 open. Uh, argue what you will, but I would say now this establishes this is a very strong support line. So now we're looking here. Do I think we could retouch and retest the 2022 open uh, on a weekly sense? Yes. But I'm not going to be looking as much on the weekly for that. Uh, hopefully, we do see a wick that taps it and it goes up from there. On the daily, though, we can see this is what I'm eyeing at now. Now, I'm not saying I'm bearish. I'm actually really happy with where everything is at right now. I'm eyeing our 200 MA, 200 day MA. That is what I'm looking at this. That's what this black line is here. And you can see we've been below it for quite a while now. Once we dropped below it, we had pretty much tried to test it, never broke above it, and stayed below it for uh, quite a while, a few months now. So what I think might occur, now Monday will be interesting. I think Monday uh, this week could be the time we retest this 2022 open, but I would like to see us try to break above the 200 MA or moving average. This is going to be, in my opinion, quite a bit of resistance. It's going to be a big thing if we can break above this right now, sitting at 48,285. If that happens, I think we've got a bright upside. I think, I mean, guys, there is a big upside. You can see where we're at in comparison to the cycle top uh, at 69,000. So it's... Uh, Pretty exciting. Uh, I like where everything is going at the moment. I'm feeling pretty good. I got a good break from the charts and I'll be kind of working on posting some more videos. But again, um, I do have a life I need to prioritize. My birthday is coming up um, and I honestly don't know if I'm going to be celebrating it. So Ethereum, similar situation. Again, I haven't been charting it as much, but I, you know, I put the range in and we've been ranging. Now, I wouldn't say we've broken above the yearly open for Ethereum. We're not even at the 200. So this is a different situation. It looks like here, uh, if we were to plot a horizontal line here, this was a pretty big point here. Now I'd have to go back and see if this lines up anything significantly with uh, any dates. Uh, clearly you can see here. This was a pretty large spot. It's been tested. It's been around for a while. So breaking out above the 32, uh, pretty much 3250 mark has been a pretty big decisive point. So you could have argued, you know, hey, we are in a range pretty much from 
uh, January 17th all the way up until 27th of March. And now that we've broken above it, we need to hold and show that we can hold above this. And then maybe we range between the yearly open and 3250 and work our way up to break above it. But as traditionally, Ethereum is a kind of a lagging. Uh, we could see Bitcoin make this run and then we could see Ethereum and altcoins run up after this. So that's something we could be looking at as a possibility. So now let's take a look at some other options. So hopefully I fixed that little bit of a small lag it was having in the previous recording, uh, but we're jumping back into it. Solana really hasn't been uh, as strong as Ethereum or Bitcoin for that matter, but they're doing better. I have not been buying any Solana recently. I've been mainly buying Bitcoin and Ethereum uh, as my two primary. The other coins, not so much. Uh, I'll start to layer in them after I think I've accumulated a fair amount of Bitcoin and Ethereum. But again, not even close to our yearly open. I think this would be a stretch. I, I really think we've got work to do on a Solana. Uh, so take it as you will, but you can look at the chart and make your decision there as you want to. Though last week we had a 20% run up uh, down in the 80s. And we pretty much touched the bottoms, the bottom at 78, pretty much 80. Luna. Luna has been an amazing coin. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. $94. I mean, look at this. Since pretty much mid-February, it has been on just an absolute tear. Constantly going up. I've been a huge fan and I've been saying it. And we had the Bitcoin buy from Mr. Kwan. Do Kwan. This is huge. I mean, you can see this, this yearly open has acted and kind of held since 9th of March, pretty much. Broke above it and it's tested it. It's held above it. It waked below and it's staying above. So say what you will. I'm not here to tell you buy or sell. That's not what I'm doing, but make your decision. I'm a big fan of the coin. Cardano, look at that. So we charted this a while back, a downtrend, um, you know, and you can see it went up, broke above it, and it stayed above it. While I'm not a huge fan of Cardano, I mean, look, it had a 35% run up. You can't deny, I mean, it broke above the lines and it's proven above it. So I, I can't say anything too bad about it, uh, but you can argue what you will. I mean, the RSI and all uh, has its own different things it is saying, but uh, volume, we can even go to our weekly. Volume, uh, it's okay. Uh, same thing for the others. I mean, comparatively, it's average. So say what you will on that. Matic, similar situation. I haven't really charted it all too much, uh, being a relatively smaller altcoin, uh, but it had a pretty good week, 15%. We can look on the daily. It's about to go and tap the 200 day moving average. So we'll see, does it fall below it? Can it break and close above the 200 day and set a new point and go from there? We'll have to see. Polkadot, Polkadot, similar situation, broke below this 200 day and it has been sitting below it. This again happened pretty much the beginning of January. You can see broke below it January 4th, closed below and it stayed below. Touching a low really at the 14 mark, uh, but we'll, we'll go ahead and say about 16 has been its lows and it has worked its way back up slowly. Uh, huge run up last week 20 percent huge i mean you could even argue we can take a look let's say you were looking even at this opening 31 percent. it's not bad so that is uh polka dot i mean i i do like the coin um i don't own a lot of it it is something i will hopefully work into getting more of in the future it's just uh not something i've been focused on Phantom, 
they got hit pretty hard with the Andre news. It is what it is. Uh, you can see it is in this range I drew a while ago. It actually went and touched my lower bound range and has went back up from there. It's done this before. It went back down, dipped below, and then went on a huge run up. I mean, the last time it went down to this lower range, it ended up doing in the course of 35 days, 300%. Now, that doesn't mean this is going to happen again. That's not how this works. Things do not always happen perfectly and repeat perfectly. So do not think that. But overall, I, I like it. I still use the ecosystem. There are projects I'm still involved in and doing DeFi on. I'm just not doing as much. I've taken a more passive approach as of recent. One, I just, <laughs> I don't want to go through 15,000 transactions again. Uh, it is what it is. Avalanche, they're holding pretty strong. For a while, they were in this range. They actually tapped into my lower range. And they did a huge rocket up. Uh, I mean, let me get out of this so you can see the exact. But I mean, it had a run up of 24% last week, 6%. Not as good as other coins for a week long span. But overall, pretty good. It's going to think, I think it's going to find some resistance. Uh, it'll be an interesting point if we... <clears throat> look at this mark here at about $92. I think this could be interesting because if we look here, at least on the weekly, you've got one, two, uh, three, four uh, main points here. Yes, it closed green, but didn't close above it here. Then it immediately broke below. Now, of course, there are other factors that go into play for a 30% drop. You can see here, it tried, failed. You can see here it tried, failed again. So we'll see. Is this third tap going to be the time where it breaks above it? Is it going to have kind of a secondary run-up post Bitcoin run-up? And it's going to break above it, retest it, set it as a new support line, and go from there? We'll have to see. Um, I do love Avalanche. I use their chain every single day. So I know this video is getting a little longer. I'm going to try to wrap this up pretty quickly for you guys. But we can see uh, Adam... Different chart, interesting. Uh, for the weekly, though, you can see it had a 7.6%, uh, you know, kind of run. But onto the 200 day, it is below it since about March, beginning of March. And we'll see. Hopefully, it breaks above it. Last time it did that, it didn't hold for too long, only a few days, proceeding to break back below. So we'll see. A as all these, we'll have to see, right? Charts can only tell you so much. But overall, um, I do like Adam. All of mine is just being staked. I'm not doing much with it. Uh, staking is simple. It's easy. Um, and it's a little bit of passive income in a sense. So that is the markets, the charts, what I've been looking at, what I've been doing, where I've been. If you liked the video, please drop a like and a comment down below and I'll catch you guys later.